formally, thanks very much for coming out this morning, guys. Um, obviously, the big match tomorrow, Minana opponents, Josie Stars. Um, and obviously, this morning, we've got head coach Ashel Prince and captain Bayan Dehadin. And I'll open it straight up to the floor. If you want, uh, if we have a bit of time, we've got a team meeting at the hotel at 10, so if, if there are time for one on one, you can go. First of all, how much attention did you actually make to, obviously you couldn't prepare because you didn't know who was going to be in the final, but how much attention did you take to the opposition or did you just focus on your side alone? No, we, obviously we didn't know, so we tried to prepare our team as best as possible. For me, it's all about um, the guys having clarity about their own roles in our team and sort of trying to prepare for that as best as possible. Also for conditions in Cape Town, um, fielding, we try and take all those type of things in, into consideration. So obviously, we put a few catches down in the last game. Um, but it can be tough here with the wind and sun in the late afternoon. Try and take all, all those things into consideration and prepare for, for, for the match as best as possible. Well, I think the sun, the time of, of the day that we're playing, the sun will be setting, um, you know, depending on whether you, what time you're fielding. Uh, if, if the sun is quite high, then it's, then it's okay. If it's setting and it's getting lower, you can, certain angles of the ground, get into people's eyes. Uh, we just try and pay attention to all the details as we can and, and try and prepare as best as possible. Are you happy with the pitch? Have you just um, had a look at the pitch yet? Yeah. We, Happy with the pitch. I think Evan has put some um, great pitches up uh, throughout the tournament. Um, so we're happy with that. Smack bang in the middle, so there's no <laughs> advantage really of shorter side, longer side, etc. Happy with all of that. Two previous games, uh, how much can you take from that? Both of them, team batting first, put on a big score. The team chasing, yeah, the last, the team and chasing won the game. Yeah. No, no, the Josie Stars game. I mean. Okay, you're talking about, well, yeah. I thought you meant right here because <laughs> no, they, no, no, I know they chased one. it down quite comfortably. No, look, at the end of the day, um, both teams, I think, have powerful batting lineups um, and and good bowling. Uh, so, look, at the end of the day, it's all about, it's all about pressure. If you can create pressure on the opposition uh, and try and sustain that for a long enough period, and hopefully you can force some mistakes out of them. I suppose when when we batted first up in Joburg, we did that, posted a, a substantial score, and we created some pressure with the ball, and they, they couldn't live with it. I suppose when we played here, the situation was reversed. So at the end of the day, that particular word will come up, and it is all about that. It's, it's how you deal with, with those moments. Um, yes, uh, I would, I would, I would agree so. Um, I suppose, I mean, the Paul side, they're pretty good in slightly slower conditions, you know, Bjorn Futter and Shamsi and Dave Patterson, quite used to the coast, coastal conditions. Dwayne Bravo, one of the most experienced players in the world, so, I mean, they also are not, not a bad bowling unit, but, um, I think it's a, um, it's a fair reflection of the, I mean, the top two sides are in the, in, in the final, and uh, you know, they got KG to one as a leading wicket taker. Simon Arm has been a kind of um, not their trump card, but he's been a bit of a surprise. You know, he hasn't played a lot of, hasn't played a lot of white ball cricket in his career <coughs> uh, leading up to this tournament, and he's done really well for them. Nonam Pongolo is um, he's been on the block quite a while, he's been he's a wily customer. But then going back to our attack, our attack is very strong. You got Dalston in red hot form, and Andile, Lolly. Um, yeah, we've got Mama Nawaz bowling, bowling really well for Esco Adams. So we have, uh, I mean, it's two powerful bowling lineups, and, you know, whoever prevails on Sunday, um, yeah, could, li could, could lift that trophy. Can you just, uh, Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's quite special. Uh, the, having had the opening game here, um, that was quite a, a special occasion as well. Um, 
was a decent crowd in first game of, of the Mzanzi Super League. Um, obviously, opposition had some big names in it, and again tomorrow with the final, you know, both teams are going to have some big names in it. We're expecting a nice crowd, so you know, it, 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 it's quite a special um, game to be a part of. Um, so yeah, everybody's really excited about it and looking forward to it. Um, I think just looking down at it and having had a closer look, it looks more or less like a, a normal Newlands wicket. Um, so look, at the end of the day, conditions surface-wise and uh, altitude is different, obviously, compared to, to up north or, and, and what they're used to. Having said that, they played pretty well here last time around, so, you know, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a good pitch. You'll have to see tomorrow. You'll <laughs> <laughs> have to see tomorrow at the toss, eh? <laughs> Just uh, obviously had a week, a week to recuperate from that. Uh, a lot of good work was kept in training. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, the guys had a few days off, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, we got back together on Thursday, so we've had a couple of days, Thursday, Friday, and we have a training session this, this morning. Uh, we've had a training session in the morning and in the afternoon to kind of simulate uh, some fielding conditions at a similar time as tomorrow. So, yeah, the guys are very set up, they fully prepped, and the guys are excited. I think slightly, I mean, the last time we played the wicket was pretty good, so sometimes, I mean, sometimes I go to East London and I, it feels like I felt wicket there for, for, for whatever reason, I go to East London and even though it's on the coast right next to the beach there, I feel like it's, the bat wicket plays quite nicely, even PE, I quite enjoy batting in PE. I suppose it depends on the bowling unit, I mean, if you go with the spin heavy attack, then obviously you have to adjust the game. Um, but, uh, no, there's, I, I think they will take confidence, I mean, they've, they played a quite a good game in the last time they played against us. Uh, I think they'll play exactly the same way uh, with their chest out. And uh, yeah, we've got to be on it tomorrow as a, as, as a bowling unit and take our opportunities and put them under pressure. They are going, most likely they'll go with a batter light again. You know, they'll go with six batters and Simon Armour is a seventh batter. So there's an opportunity for us to, uh, to kind of get stuck in and get that middle order in early and put them under pressure. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, first couple of games, some of the international players weren't here and Calvert and batted really well and uh, some of the younger guys stepped up uh, and yeah, definitely in games and finals and pressure situations, you need calm heads out there. It's going to be fast and frantic and you, it's going to be, it's going to be chaos. I'll be under pressure, um, Dale will be under pressure, Quentin will be under pressure, but I'd like to think that my my previous records playing over the years will definitely help me um and having guys like that who has played a lot a lot when he's playing a lot of international cricket my wife has played a lot as of early you know those guys have, have played a lot of cricket so you know we'll we'll rely on them to to, to, to come through for us tomorrow Well, to be honest, I, I don't look at it like that. I don't look at particular matchups. Um, you have to play well as a collective. Um, you, at the end of the day, it's still basic cricket, although it's shorter and fast and furious and frantic, like Captain is saying. You, 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 you need partnerships still, because if you have a partnership, opposition can't stop you, uh, regardless of the format of the game. Uh, bowling, you need partnerships. If you can create pressure from both sides, it um, sort of puts a heat on the, on the opposition. So, you know, it, that's what it's all about. Even though it's a short game, you still need 
those basics. And I think at the end of the day, the team that does the basics best probably come out on top. Yeah, look, I think they're pretty calm characters. I mean, you know, Waz is, is quite chirpy. Um, you know, he's, he's a real pleasant guy. And Asif is chilled out as you can get. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> as chilled as you can get. So, I mean, they come in, try to do their work, try and contribute as best as they can. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they can have one more big day tomorrow. Around the fact that Johnny Star came here took a bonus point with you guys, is that gonna give you guys some extra motivation for the Um I don't think extra motivation. I, I think um, you know beating one of the better sides in the comp here yeah, that'll be motivation itself. You know we uh, I thought we played we played some good cricket. Uh, Friday night we beat Paul with the bonus point, and I thought Sunday we actually played a really good game. We batted really solidly. We built a partnership 160 plus. In the day game, we bowled really well, you know, and yes, we never took our catches, but we actually, if you look at the games itself, we actually, since that Josie when we lost with a bonus point, we actually played some really good cricket. So the guys are really confident about playing on a particular surface. Um, you know, I suppose it's a north versus south, you know, it's province versus bulls or lions, it's that old rivalry. So Joburg versus Cape Town, you know, who's better? And I think that it has its own little battle in itself. And to beat Joburg here on our home field, with Josie Stars, uh, you know, that, that'll be satisfying, definitely. But we've got to play a good game. They have a strong outfit. Uh, uh, whoever handles the pressure situations better, whoever stays calm. Um, and I've alluded to the fact that a few of us have played in pressure situations or pressure games a little bit more than they have. Um, if you look at the overall side, you can look at a guy like Ryan Rickleton. I don't think he's played in a final before. Yes, he'll come with youthful exuberance, but he hasn't played in finals in big games before. He's, uh, he's been beating around the block, but I don't know how many finals, actual physical finals and pressure games he's played in. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take uh, solace or we'll take comfort from that and um, look to put them under pressure early. Because if the game against Josie, we actually played a great game. They were 65 or 67 for one after 10 overs. So we actually bowled really well. They obviously took it away from us in the last ten. But you know, we we actually started that game really well. So for three quarters of the two games, we actually played a good game against Josie. They obviously blew us out in the last ten and their and their the bowling uh, display. But we'll take some satisfaction if we come off uh, on the right side tomorrow. Do you think it can be split Rickleton and these guys as two rivals? No, they're still Dan <laughs> Christian and uh, Rassi who's a leading <laughs> run scorer. I'm just saying, like those guys haven't played in finals before. Maybe we don't know what the how, how, how the nerves will um, play a part. We don't know if they'll be a bit more tense. You know, Rassi's been in good form. We don't know. Maybe it's one straight up in the air. He's thinking that it's how I felt. Uh, we're just saying that, like you know, some of the guys might not have played in finals. They might not have played in big days. Sometimes that tension, uh, you know, that or that pressure in your within yourself does some weird things. You know, you got to be in control of those emotions, and hopefully, we can exploit that tomorrow. Just in terms of, of tomorrow, the gates um, will open at 1:30. Obviously, first balls at, at 3:30. We're, we're expecting a crowd of over 10,000, um, so it's going to be a, a great crowd there. Um, there will be a, a post-match press conference. Brookie should be getting it on the screen, actually. <laughs> Keep all the crowd here, make a bit more money. Yeah.